gone by, Carl Malone has become a better and better perimeter jump shooter. You see, he steps off the block. Now, this makes him so much more successful because now when Horace Grant closes, he can put the ball on the floor and get to the rim and get to that foul line. Nice pass to Burrell from Grant, and Burrell was fouled by Hornacek. As some of you may know, Lazaro Burrell defected from Cuba a year ago. He, like most Americans, has been following the Ilian Gonzalez saga and, in fact, sent the young Cuban boy a Supersonics jacket and cap. And young Gonzalez has been photographed wearing both. If, if this lineup will work for Paul Westfall, if he can start these young guys, it gives them more energy to start the game. And then he can come in off the bench with Ben Baker. It relieves the anxiety of Ben Baker, who's gone through some you know, problems with depression right now. But more importantly, Ben Baker then is playing against the second-line player. He gets off the quicker start, so this could really help them. Shaman Williams, Hodge comments, a timely basket by Baker on his first shot of this year's playoffs. Right on the cue there, Ahmad. Hornacek from Stockton. And Burrell, the 27-year-old NBA rookie out of Cuba, takes the rebound. Now, Ben Baker loves to step out and shoot jump shots, just like he did on that first possession. So that's not, you know, an aberration in his game. He loves to shoot that shot. Gary Payton, who had been held scoreless until that shot, swishes the three. He led the NBA in three-pointers made this year with 177. Here's Stockton. And Peyton takes the rebound. Behind Grant's screen, way off with that three, but here's Baker. Another try, and the tip won't drop. And it's finally stripped from him. Utah's got a three on two. Here's Brian Russell. They're gonna take it away, offensive foul. is you've got two small guards on the floor right now. Utah has been hurt with bigger guards. Can Peyton take advantage of that? Malone with six on the 24. Out to Russell. It was deflected. He hurries his shot and misses it. Here's Baker spinning baseline and drawing a whistle. Now Utah has uncharacteristically missed some wide open shots. Stockton's missed about three. He's when Brian Russell, a couple you would expect as the time goes on, they'll start making those shots. Here comes Ostertag to replace Polonies, who sits down after committing his second foul. Brent Barry comes in. Lazaro Burrell out. The next century. had it knocked away but there's a foul Stockton and Peyton who have gone at each other so many times through the years and the foul that time on Stockton now what Seattle has to be very careful about is standing around here looking only for Gary Peyton because the Jazz are locked into Peyton right now he has 11 points in the game but he's 5 of 17 so you look at Seattle out on the floor right now they've got Burrell they've got McCoy they've got Shimon Williams Peyton and Ben Baker Peyton and Baker are going to have to do some scoring, but I think they've got to get Ben Baker involved here, or Shaman Williams has got to start making some more shots with him. A long one by Ben Baker is in and out. But Seattle retains it with Lazaro Burrell getting the offensive rebound. Here's McCoy. He was fouled, and the basket's going to count. Wow, what a quick move by Jelani McCoy. Not a guy you think of with offense. Normally a guy who's going to shot block and give you some energy and rebounding. That was a quick power move. I think he surprised Ostertag and Malone. The little step through that up and under, he hangs in the air. I think they felt that was an offensive foul if he pushed off with his left arm. You see Jerry Sloan saying that's an offensive foul, pushed off. Seattle gets the call, and they go back into the lead by one. He not able to knock in the free throw. But Shimon Williams grabs the board. Here's Burrell. It's a four-point trip down the floor for Seattle. How about these young guys, Burrell and Shimon Williams and Richard Lewis, what they've done in this game? For two. And he shot eight for 12. Burrell. Contact, and he was fouled. That one, it appears, is on Ostertag. 
I'm really impressed with this Burrell. I've really never seen much of him before in, in playing as an NBA player. The thing I love is fearless. He will go in there. He's got energy. He will go to that basket. He will take the hit. We saw him take an offensive foul on uh, Brian Russell going full speed early in the game. He's fearless. Correction on the foul. It's on the rookie out of Kentucky, Scott Padgett. And Burrell misses the first one. You see what he's done in his six starts. He had a career-high 15, back-to-back -back 15 and 12-point games, and finished up the season against the Clips with 11. So games in double figures there. Uh, very, very impressive for a guy who really doesn't speak the English language very well and has just had to pick up things by watching and trying to feel himself along. They need to keep this guy on the floor. He's playing well. They are without Vernon Maxwell, who is not on the playoff bus. He can sometimes be a source of instant offense for them. Here's Hornacek, short with the three. Russell to save it, but it's picked off by Peyton. He dishes to Lewis. It's blocked, but the follow is good by Burrell. Seattle with this young team that they have on the floor. You know, Gary Payton's not young, but he's got more energy than all of us combined. But Shimon Williams, and you've got... Rashard Lewis, you got Burrell out on the floor. They want to keep the pace of this game up. Try to scramble the game as much as possible. Get those kind of hoops. And they're back within one. Stockton. And spins out. Burrell. Looking for Lewis. Off his knee. Picked up. Al terminar la temporada, Borrell es canjeado a los Knicks de Nueva York que unos meses más tarde lo dejan libre al lesionarse la rodilla. Sin dudas, Lázaro Borrell pudo haber jugado más tiempo en la NBA, pero sus limitaciones con el idioma inglés y las lesiones no lo ayudaron.